In this lesson, we're going to look at how to factor the sum and difference of cubes. So it's really uh, two different problems, but they both use the same formula. And this is one that you have to do by formula, and, and you can't do by trial and error the way we did our trinomials. You really just have to know the formula or else you're going to be stuck. So it's very important to memorize the pattern. Memorize the pattern. I'm not kidding. You have to know the pattern or you're not going to be able to do these. Okay, let's take a look at an example. First of all, you want to learn how to recognize them. A sum of cubes is a cube plus another cube. So it helps if you know your third power of some of the smaller numbers. 2 to the 3rd is 8, 3 to the 3rd is 27, 4 to the 3rd is 64, 5 to the 3rd is 125. So here this is 2 to the 3rd. And now here's how this is factored. All right, you're going to have a small set of parentheses that will hold a binomial. And you're going to have a larger set of parentheses that will hold a trinomial. If you figured out what is the cube root here and here, those two roots go in this parentheses. Now, notice that I had a plus sign in the problem. I've got a plus sign in this first parentheses. So you always are going to be able to put that same sign there. And the x and the 2 are the cube roots of the x to the third and the eight. So that's how you know what goes there. Now these next three terms that go in the second set of parentheses come from these two terms. So you're going to look at this first term you put in the first parentheses and you're going to multiply it times itself. x times itself is x squared. Then whatever this sign is, you're going to put the opposite sign here the middle term, you're going to go this term times that. x times 2 is 2x. I'm going to put that here. Okay, now this last term, I'm going to go 2 times itself and put that here. That's going to be plus 4. And that's what it is. So you need to do this several times so it'll stick, but it's really not difficult. Look at your problem, figure out your two cube roots. Those go here. Then to get these three terms, you go this one times itself gives you x squared. This one times the other one gives you 2x, that's the middle. And then the last one times itself gives you 4 in this case. So take a look at your signs. Your first sign is same as in the problem. This sign is opposite of the one that came before, and this sign is going to always be positive. So if we take these initials, oops, sorry, let me go back. If we take these initials, then we're going to make S-O-A-P. So S-O-A-P, SOAP, will help you remember, same, opposite, always positive. Okay, now, let's factor x to the third minus 27. First of all, I need to make sure that it's a cube minus a cube, and it is. So x to the third is a cube, 27 is the cube of 3. So that tells me I can go ahead and set down my two sets of parentheses, a small one and a larger one. Okay? The cube root of x to the third is x, so I'm going to put my x here. The third root of 27 is 3, and there's a minus sign here, so I'm going to put minus 3. Now my next three terms come from these, three, these two terms. So first I'm going to go x times itself is x squared. This is a minus, that means I'm going to have a plus here. My middle term is x times 3, so the middle term is 3x. Then my last sign is always positive, so put a plus sign. And then the last one is 3 times 3, I'm going to have a 9 here. So notice how this followed soap. Same as in the problem, opposite of the problem, always positive. S-O-A-P. 
And here's another one. Let's make sure that we've got um, a cube plus a cube. So this is the cube of 2x. 2x times itself times itself would give you 8x to the third. And this is the third power of 5. So I do have a sum of cubes here. So I can set down my two sets of parentheses. Now we said that this was the cube of 2x. And this is the cube of 5. There's a plus sign in between them. Okay, now my last three terms are going to be 2x times itself. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Opposite sign. 2x times 5 is 10x. And then last times last, 5 times 5 is going to be plus 25. So again, notice the soap. Same as in the problem. Opposite of the problem. Always positive. 2x times 2x. 2x times 5. 5 times 5. Oh, and one other thing before I do this last one. Notice how every time we get a trinomial here, I never have to try to factor this trinomial because this trinomial is prime, guaranteed, and you don't have to try to factor it down. And so now let's look at our last problem. Let's see if it's a, a sum of cubes or difference of cubes. Well, it's a difference. This is 4x times 4x. This is, or I'm sorry, this is 4x times 4x times 4x. It's 4x to the third power. This is 1 to the third power. So I do have a difference of cubes. Now we said that this is the cube of 4x. This is the cube of 1. Now in my parentheses, I'm going to have 4x times itself. That's going to be 16x squared. For my middle term, I'm going to have a plus. 4x times 1 is 4x. For my last times last, I'm going to have a positive. 1 times 1 is 1. And that's all there is to that. You need to learn the pattern, and there's no substitute for learning the pattern. And once you do learn the pattern, these will be easy.